Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeks Who Geeks. In this video, we will discuss the problem minimize maximum distance to gas station. So let us read the problem statement and see how we can solve it. Problem says that uh, we'll be given a horizontal line and on that number line, we have got gas stations, right? So you can see that station 0, station 1, station 2 up till station n minus 1. So uh, at these gas stations, uh, basically at these stations, we have got uh, gases. Now uh, we can add k more gas stations. Okay. So initially you are having how many gas stations? You are having n gas stations. Now you can do what? You can add k more gas stations. Okay. You have to add k more ga gas stations so that the distance between uh, the maximum distance between any two adjacent uh, gas, uh, gas stations is minimized, right? So we have to find the smallest possible value of this d up to six decimal places. So if you will see here, the thing is that initially we had n gas stations. Okay. Initially we had n gas stations. Now we are adding how many? We are adding k more gas stations. Okay. Now we are going to add k more gas stations. And after adding k more gas stations, whatever is the maximum distance between any two gas stations we want to minimize it so we have to do what we have to minimize okay minimize the maximum okay maximum distance between any two gas stations okay between any two gas stations whenever we have to minimize the maximum or we have to do what we have to maximize the minimum then in that case we always use binary search because if you will talk about problems like uh, minimum allocation of pages, capacity to ship uh, within D days, cocoa eating bananas, problems like these. So they are based on a similar concept where uh, if you have to minimize the maximum or you have to maximize the minimum. So in that case, we use binary search on answer concept, right? So I'm assuming that you have a bit of idea about it. Okay. Now in this particular uh, question, if you will see here, so the problem says that we have to return the answer up to six decimal places. So let us quickly uh, see the second test case so that we can understand the problem better. So let's say we had the n value as how much? Let's say we had the n value as nothing but 10. Here. Okay. Now if we had the n value as uh, 10 and the stations were like uh, we had the value 3, then we had 6. Okay. Because uh, station indicates that at what positions you are having the stations, right? So you can see that we have got 3, 6, then 12, then 19. Okay. Then we have got 12, then we have got 19. Then after that, we have got 33, 44. So we have got 33, then we have got 44. Then after that, we have got uh, 67, 72, 89, 67, 72. Then we have got 89. And then after this, we have got what? We have got 95 as well. Okay. So these are the uh, stations that we have got, right? Now we have to add how many more stations? We can add two more stations, right? So we have to add two more stations and we have to add them in such a way that now total 12 stations would be there and the distance uh, maximum distance between any two stations is minimized, right? So I can say that the lowest uh, distance that I can assume between any two stations is zero. Now what's the highest distance that can be there between any two stations? It will basically be the uh, zeroth element minus the last element. So the highest can be let's say 92. Now after this, what I'll do is I'll find out the mid. So what is my midpoint right now? If you will see right now, so the midpoint will be 46. Okay. So uh, if my, uh, assuming that if my midpoint is 46, then I will try to do what? Uh, I'll try to say that as of now, I will keep the, I'll try to keep the distance as 46, right? Now, when my uh, distance is 46, then I'll write a check function uh, for this 46. That in this uh, distance 46, how many uh, stations I can have, right? So whenever I'll be iterating here, so let's say if I'll be, if I'll start iterating by writing a check function. So what I'll do here is initially when I'm starting, so the difference between this station and this station is three. My mid is 46. So I'm allowing a distance of 46 between the stations, right? So the distance is three, which is uh, lesser than the, like uh, the distance is lesser than the mid value. So I'll do nothing. And if you'll see each and every pair that is here. So in that case, you can see that, uh, all the pairs, uh, all the adjacent pairs that are there, all the adjacent pair of uh, stations, they have the difference between them less than uh, less than the mid only, right? So in that case, I can say that uh, I don't uh, need to add uh, any uh, stations, right? So the number of stations that I have added 
uh, it is not uh, required to be greater than k because uh, I can place these two stations anywhere. The thing is that I can place these two stations uh, anywhere because uh, between any two adjacent uh, pa pairs, if I'll check, so the distance is not greater than greater than 46 in any one of them. So this means that uh, I can allow a distance of 46 between the stations and I can put these two stations anywhere and, and it does not matter. Then after this, I'll say that if this 46 satisfies my criteria, so I'll search in the left side. So now my uh, high will become what? Uh, mid minus one, because if till the mid, uh, if the mid is satisfying the criteria, so I'll search from low till mid minus one. So now my mid was 46. So my high will become what? Now it will become 45. Now, what's the new midpoint? The new midpoint is basically going to be nothing but you can say uh, 22 now. And if you will see, is there any adjacent pair which has the difference greater than 22? No. So since there is no adjacent uh, pair of stations which has the difference greater than 22, so in that case, we can say that this particular mid will also satisfy the criteria and uh, I can I can allow, allow 22 distance as well. But uh, also one more thing that I uh, should have told you, since we want to always do what? Since we always want to talk about the decimal value. So initially earlier my mid was what? 46. So next time instead of subtracting by 1 because normally we have a habit that we do high is equal to mid minus 1. But here uh, the distance uh, position 1 is not important. Because if you subtract by position 1 then you are not having that uh, decimal accuracy. So instead of uh, subtracting by 1 you will say that you will search. Uh, if this mid satisfies your criteria, then you'll search on the left side of this mid and you'll subtract what? You'll subtract uh, nothing but uh, 0. Uh, 0. 000 0.0001. So basically you'll subtract what? Uh, uh, you'll subtract a value in such a way that is you'll subtract uh, uh, 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 value so that you are always, you are always having the decimal precision. Then what will happen is uh, whenever you will be having a mid, suppose that uh, after some time what will happen is if you will uh, consider the mid uh, let's say as what let's say if you'll consider the uh, consider the mid value as 44 okay so one by one my mid value will keep on dec decreasing and at this point my mid value is let's say uh, 14 so when my uh, mid value will be 14 so if my uh, mid value let's say will be 14 right then i'll always check the adjacent differences now uh, Let's assume a normal scenario. Let's say if my mid value was what? Let's say it was 14. Okay. And I have got, uh, let's say if I'm talking about two adjacent stations at a point of time, and this is station is having value 20, this station is having value 40. So now if you will see here, so in this particular, uh, in this particular scenario, if the distance between uh, this, let's, let's take this value as 50 here, right? So the difference between this station 20 and 50 is how much? The difference is basically 30. Okay. So the distance between the uh, station 20 and 40 is 30 right so in that case I will check that how many gas stations I need to apply so if the distance if the distance is coming out to be 30 which is greater than the mid value then I can apply how many stations here or I can place how many stations I can place two stations because 30 divided by 14 is how much uh, basically two so I can say that in this uh, span of 30 distance between 20 to 50 I can place two stations such that I always keep a distance of 14, uh, uh, maximum distance as 14, right? Because uh, during this uh, distance of uh, 30, uh, everything is empty. But I don't want uh, the distances between any two stations to be more than 14. So that is why I can say that I can place, I can say that I can place two stations here, one here and another here, right? So that's nothing but 30 divided by 14. So whatever number of stations I have to add, I will keep on adding in my counter. And if the number of stations that I have got that I want to add with respect to that mid if it is uh, less than equal to k then I'll say that yes it's possible in the check function otherwise I'll say that I have to return false that it's not possible if it's possible then I'll try to look for a lower mid value if it's not possible then I'll try to look for a higher mid value okay so let's try and uh, implement this code here and see what we can do so basically suppose that uh, initially we will be given what we'll be taking the low initially as zero okay then after that, we'll take the high value. So high will be how much? You can say it will be basically stations of n minus 1. Uh, obviously, let me take the size of the array. So n is equal to what? Uh, let's say stations dot size here. Yeah. So once this is done, so a high will be what? It will be the difference of the first and the last station. Okay. So station of uh, 0. Now after this, what I will do is I'll uh, say that uh, I need a double answer because I need to return in the double format. So I'll say that my double answer would be initially equal to 0. Okay, then after this what we'll say is that while the low is less than equal to the high, till that point of time we'll iterate and my uh, mid is going to be how much? So let's say my uh, double 
mid uh, i also need my low and high as uh, double data type so let me write them as double because when i'll be calculating uh, high and low so they will also be uh, close to six decimal places so my mid will be what you can say it as uh, let's say low plus high divided by two so i'll check that if i allow mid distance between maximum distance as mid between any two stations so is that possible or not if i can add k stations if that is possible then i'll look for a lower mid okay so if my check function that i have written for this uh, stations array okay where i'm passing the k value and i'm passing the mid value as well if it returns me a true that with this, with respect to this particular mid i can uh, put uh, put uh, k, uh, like i i can allow this uh, particular mid difference between any two stations right then i'll try to store this as the answer so i'll say that answer will be equal to this mid and then i'll say that i'll try to look on the left side so my high will be what mid minus 0. Uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0000001 okay uh, else uh, if it is not possible then i'll try to search on the right side so i'll say that my low is equal to what mid plus this thing okay now at the end of the day what i will do is i'll return my answer here right now after this what we will be doing here is let's say when we write a check function so we'll write a boolean check function let's say we will be passing the station so we'll write vector int amp percent uh, stations here then we'll pass the k value here as well uh, let's say int k and we'll pass the double mid value as well okay uh, now after this what we'll do is we'll, we'll initially say that the number of stations that we need to add will be zero okay with respect to this mid distance now i will check so i'll iterate int i starts from zero i is lesser than n then we'll do i plus plus okay and the difference between any two stations will be what the difference will be you can say stations of i minus stations of i minus one so that will be the difference and we can start from index one now uh, if the difference between these two stations okay be between the adjacent stations if it's greater than mid so this means that i need to place uh, certain stations between because i cannot allow more than uh, more than mid distance between any two stations so if i'm having this so i need to find out how many stations i need for for that the answer will be the difference divided by the mid as i have already told you because as i sh as i had shown you in the diagram if suppose my mid was uh, 30 and the difference was uh, if the mid was 14 and the difference between two stations is 30 then i need to place two stations in between right so that is nothing but difference divided by the mid value okay now uh, taking the integer part only right so after that part is uh, done then what i'll check is i'll check that if the number of stations that i require so if my count value is what if my count value is greater than k then in that case i'll basically return false uh, okay otherwise uh, what i will do here is i'll return true here okay so this is what we can do let's try and compile it to check if it is working fine or not you can see that since uh, for one time my check function will take order of n time so that is why okay so i need to write stations dot size here instead of n okay so since for one time my check function is going to take order of uh, for one particular mid my uh, check function is going to take order of uh, n time so for when the binary search is going to run log n times so uh, or you can say log x times then in that case the overall complexity would be n log of x where x is the difference between the high uh, between the first and the last element let's try and submit this to check if it gets accepted or not it should get accepted so you can clearly see that my code was able to pass all the test cases that were there uh, and uh, as i said if uh, my binary search for one particular mid my check function is going to take order of n time because i'm checking the adjacent uh, station distances right and uh, if my binary search is going to run log x time suppose then the time complexity would be n log of x here so i hope that you have understood this thing uh, clearly and you are not having any doubts in case if you understood clearly make sure to comment understood or plus one in the chat if you have any doubts or any uh, thing that you want to clarify you can ask them in the comments and i'll clear them up thank you for watching this video and keep coding